Hello beautifuls, this is Arami here and welcome back to Love Ritual. We are here about to get ready to go tell the guys about our point of view and hopefully they won't be too emotional about it. Hopefully the two of them aren't there as well. It'll just be easy. Are they there? Yeah, they're there. Hello. What did I expect? Had a change of heart and have come to apologize after you left our clients in custody for the night and for investigating the crime scene behind our backs. Calm down, Seth. You're the one that fucking ran away from me, okay? Caliseth, leave her be. So ignore Caliseth, please. Not so loudly. People are trying to work. He really doesn't cut anyone any slack, does he? Seth is clearly so furious. Shenray seems more sad and disappointed than anything. It was just warm. I was just warming up to these two as well. Damn it! It's not like I want to do this to either of you. No, Seth. I'm here to give my opinion to the officer, which is that we don't have enough evidence to release your clients yet. The investigation needs to proceed. Seth lets out a loud groan, which drowns out whatever Shenry starts saying, and he and and so he just retreats into silence and averts his gaze to the ground. Aw, oh, he's so cute. All right, Reline, have it your way. We helped you, gave you all this info, and simply because a tiny insignificant detail is out of place in your head, you'll let these people rot in jail for longer. So, Nor, please, can you keep... Oh, shut up. You cops are good for nothing, slouches who leech off the public's money. It doesn't take a genius to figure out the obvious conclusion. Worthless, all of you. So the really has a temper problem, doesn't he? I'm not going to say what I said yesterday again, since evidently you don't seem to care much, and that's okay. I suppose we really don't have a choice but to respect the resident expert on the case. It's not like throwing a temper tantrum is going to make our argument seem any more believable or get anyone on our side. The same event from yesterday unfolds here once again. I thought these two were way more reasonable than this. What the hell has gone into them and that they're acting this way? Calm down, I'll just ignore them. Yeah, just talk to the popo, the main guy right here. As I said, I conducted an analysis of both rituals and would like to voice my conclusions. Just a second, I'll just postpone these papers. Oh, okay, you're back. I'm all ears. I'll start with why these two rituals are radically different from each other. I should carefully select my words to convince these two. The sooner they accept my conclusions, the better. I think Anduin is only interested in straight facts, and he will not support any conclusion openly. Alright. Uh, what? The casket was used. What casket? I didn't see a casket. Another boiler and... A Accumulator. I don't, yeah, I honestly don't think there was a casket there. And the ritual another boiler and accumulator was used. Come on, after all, the function ha does not, after all, the function does not change. One is needed simply for the collection of the essence, and the second for extraction. I do not see any radical differences here. Hold on, bro. Do I correctly understand that these, that, that the use of these items is the same in both rituals? Yes, but the performance is completely different. Maybe the second ritual was prepared in a hurry, as both rituals use nearby ma materials such as bamboo. Well, was there anything else? Um, the, the ritual is better planned? I mean, they already got all the essence and the crap ready, but I don't think they had everything else. Um, is this gonna go with the clan ring? The box in the second ritual contained the clan ring of ritualists, and it was not a real ring, but a good forgery. It was no different from the original. It also had the opt optim optimally enchanted stone, a ritualist ring. Why then did the police not find it right away? And regardless, it doesn't matter as Anduin said it was fake. Even if it was fake, he, uh, even if it was a fake he is, he knew what to do and how. And in the first ritual, could we have missed the ring? The cube from the first ritual had only one piece. We can wait for a second examination, but I'm sure we will not find a ring. Could the criminal have picked up the ring during the first ritual? Maybe, but there's no evidence for that. Um, the ritual was conducted not in the forest. Bones were used not by necromancer. I believe that's the better choice. Not too sure. Because we didn't really know what the bone was made of. It wasn't normal though. I also must assume that the bones in the second version were not used by a necromancer. It seems that these bones were bought without understanding the nudes, nu nuances? Why such confidence? The level of uh, essence in the accumulator was clearly visible and it was not enough. The bones themselves were not sufficiently nourished with energy. Ultimately, this led to 
the use of other mechanic mechanics mechanisms <laughs> i can't read that's not very vague those are minor details that could easily be missed or even considered neg neg negligible negligible i'm sure that a specialist like seth could tell the difference if he wanted to of course are you suggest suggesting that I may have deliberately missed such details? I'm just saying that I'd like you to uh, I'd like to ask you to study the bones of both rituals and understand the differences more closely. I think the police will be able to find a necromancer willing to cooperate. One who understands necromancy better, I hope. If Signor Drew better understood the laws, he would know that I cannot give conclusions on the evidence, considering that I'm a lawyer assigned this case. Let's focus on the case. I would like to hear about the additional evidence concerning the bones. I will order the second examination. Now, please continue, if you will. Um, use of the essence or the pictogram size. The pictogram size, I believe, was the same. Use of the essence. I didn't, they, they didn't really use the essence properly, I don't think. Since the essence from the bones were not enough, the suspect used bought essence. From where did you draw this conclusion? There was a lot. <laughs> I found bottles of essence hidden in a box. Unfortunately, the labels did not survive. Interesting. I think the experts will be able to establish their origin. What more could they find that our valiant detectives have not already found? It does not matter who found the evidence. The experts have not yet completed their work at the crime scene. In any case, such essence is used only by ritualists. If I'm not mistaken, the necromancers can use essence in a series of rituals. And so can the druids and many others. That's right. I must remind you that all these rites are essentially rituals. Let's not de deviate from the topic. Um, their optimal use of energy? This is tough. <laughs> Am I good on time? Yes. At least, like, the paintings on here are pretty, like, the sketches is literal sketching on here, which is nice. And the second ritual, the use of energy was optimal. There was no traces of essence, excess essence, and the boiler was completely empty. But we still do not know whether it, this is really the result of the work of another person. Maybe he just did not have enough time. I believe that the person who conducted the second ritual is much more experienced. However, this is just a guess. Um... The fuse has not been destroyed, or there's no strong destruction. Uh, the fuse, I don't quite remember if it was destroyed or not. So, I'll just go with that. Another interesting detail is the fuse in the first case. They could not contain the release of energy, and the fuse was destroyed. In the second, an enchanted stone from the clan's ring was used. The fake ring. That's right. I would say that it was an exact copy. This is a very rare thing, but it makes the rituals much safer. What about the first ritual? Could the ejection have been so strong that it destroyed the stone? The first ritual used a specially, a specially selected object, like a river pebble when the summoning water elementals, or a crow's skull for a spiritualistic session. I see. Um, different bags with herbs, hidden things. You found hidden things? <laughs> I'm questioning myself if I remember. Oh god, I hear the lawnmower. <laughs> I need to close the window soon. Um, different bags with herbs or hidden things. I think they're different bags. Several bags with herbs are found in the warehouse. When I read the crime scene inspection report, I did not think it was important at first. And what about these bags? I guess that the one who used them did not understand their druidism. Why such confidence? It seems like I am winning those two over again because they're like, ooh, looking at the, the blackboard of my chalk. <laughs> These had a different composition. I think the predator, per, per, sorry, predator, per, 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 I know how to, I know that word, I don't know how to pronounce. Knew the composition only approximately and selected a necessary on site trial and error method. It looks like the truth, otherwise, why are there so many? You support her only because it removes suspicion from the druid, but it also says that in the first case, the bags were selected by an experienced druid. Let's not rush to conclusions here, alright? Oh, what is this? Elementary, my dear Watson. <laughs> I assume I did great. I have my own theory of what happened. Interesting. I thought it was Signor, Sig, Signor Anduin who was here to propose a conclusion. Although I would like to listen at least something because the police never put forward official versions except for unreasonable charges. 
and when maybe we listen to Signori Never Lie. If her ideas are used by the investigation, I would like to understand the intricacies in advance. You have already been informed of the necessary details of the investigation. You will receive an official preliminary report in due time. Come on, you're just putting it off until the very last moment. This obviously means you don't have anything worth of report. In any case, I want to listen to Signorina Rely as she is a specialist. It may have been a mistake to bring this up in the presence of Seth and Shen Rei. Well, let's see how it goes. If anything, I hope Ando uncovers for me. This is my theory, though I have not yet prepared it on paper. This can always be done later. Please continue. Well then, I ask you not to interrupt. This is so I will not get lost and don't miss any details. I think there are three people involved in the ritual. <laughs> really? <laughs> Two suspects and an unidentified person. Now, I will explain how I come or came to this theory. In the first ritual, there are traces of both druids and necromancers. I think both suspects participated in the first ritual. Uh, don't you dare interrupt. I just coughed. It's very dry in here. <laughs> They took on the appropriate parts of the ritual, such as preparing the bones in the cube by the necromancer and collecting the herbs by the druid. The druid could have also organized a passage into the forest. The third person is a ritualist, or a person very well versed in ritualistic practices. This person likely developed the details of the ritual, its structure, the kind of pentagram used and everything else. The first ritual, as I said before, served as the summoning of the spirit. I was not aware of this until I saw the second ritual. I think that they managed to summon the spirit in the first ritual and in second ritual the spirit was sent back what regarding the spirit i carefully studied the catalysis of the call the bag of herbs represents of the forest the cube represents the demonic we put them together and get the forest demon for such a rule according to monarchia demonum grimoire the crop collector is suitable the collector but why it doesn't make sense nice he will collect the souls of those who have disappeared in the forest in a wicker thorny basket Yes, exactly. The first ritual he was called, and by the second sent back. Regarding the draft, I think there could be two variants. In the first, the necromancer and the druid just made a mistake, not understanding the intricacies of ritualistic practices. As a result, they caused a huge explosion and were caught. For the second option, I think that in the ritual itself, the ritualist could have deliberately made a mistake so that the two could make a fuss and get caught. The third suspect framed them, and he took the reward for himself. Then, having received something from the spirit, he sent it back. If so, what were the motives of the criminals? What is the motive of the third suspect, and who could it be? Maybe the two criminals wanted to be the apprentice of the ritualist, and they couldn't do it unless they proved to the ritualist that they were useful? But then the ritualist bewildered them like, ha, I just used you. I can't say it, at least not yet. There's not enough information, but the third suspect is a person well versed in ritualistic practices. And I believe we still have time. Okay, I was gonna say, I believe we don't have time, because it seems like this game just passes by so quickly. That's all for now. In any case, I believe that it is still too early to release the suspects. An incorrect decision made in a hurry can lead to a path in which um, the innocent may suffer. That's a good I was gonna cover everything up. You know what? I'm just gonna cover everything up. I don't need that no more, right? <laughs> if so, I'll just have to replay the game again. Everyone is tense, finding the situation very uncomfortable. Even my hands are sweating. Calm down. I'm sure that now Seth will fall into a rage, but I'm ready. Is he happy? <laughs> He's laughing and jumping up and down. Seriously, this theory is a joke, like some kind of fantasy. I'll smash it into pieces. Uh, well, okay. I'll smash it to pieces in court. So ignore Indwin. I hope you will not go to the prosecutor with this. Three suspects summoning the collector without reason. Kaliseth. There is no direct evidence. Kaliseth. Wait a minute. What if? What if someone used them, sent them into a state of confusion, and then framed them? Perhaps they intended to create a scandal that would blacken both our circles and shake the positions of our factions. Magicians? Elementalists? It's possible and perhaps there are others as well. Th these ritualists may have intended to try and regain their place among the nobility. Hmm. Oh, I just remembered something. I forgot to feed the cat. I beg your pardon. I urgently need to take my leave. Signors, Signorina Lorelai, have a nice day. 
Seth rushed off and disappeared behind the door. No one even had time to say goodbye to him. This idea changes everything, does it not? Perhaps I should just... Uh, perhaps I should also go and visit my client. Thank you for the explanation. Signorina rely. Good luck. So, that, so were, they, were they Gucci with my... <laughs> My theory? Shen Ray leaves after Kalaseth. He seemed very puzzled. This was a sudden development, but it's better than the endless swearing quarreling I'd expected. I think I did good. And when? Thank you, Rely. I'd like to receive these theories from, from you on paper. Oh, don't worry. Easy. Yes, of course, but what are your thoughts? Would you consider them reasonable? We work with a lot of theories, and I am willing to accept and consider any. This, of course, includes yours as well as those of the other two. Alright. Thank you. I'm honestly not quite sure about all this, but to to be frank, Seth is right. This is not my job. Don't worry, I'll say it again. I need multiple theories. The situation is constantly changing and some of these theories can be discarded. And this is where I'm going to stop for today. Maybe uh, let me <laughs> read his one sentence because I thought I hit save, but I hit the continue button. For example, until the second ritual, when you confirmed that the spirit was driven back, one of the theories was substitution. Dun, dun, dun. I'm just gonna cover right here, but this is where we're gonna save for today. Um, I really hope we can, uh, help this case. I don't know if the game is gonna end with us, like, finishing the case off and somewhere in between, like, split into between the, the mission case or whatever. We'll slowly fall in love with the, whoever we pick. I think I'm gonna go for Kalaseth first, just because he has, like more of the vibes i usually go for in visual novels and then we're gonna end off with shen Rei. so thank you guys for watching today's episode stay beautiful and i'll see you guys in the next one